Hi everyone, Bob Mesocomer here, and welcome to my office. We are in the lowest activity period of the day right now. Okay. Just so you know that. I mean, the, we, we, we fished through the miner this morning. We were actually late on the miner. And our major, oh, there's Ooh. one. See it? Yeah. Here he comes. Here she comes. There she is. <laughs> wow. That was a nice Hi, everybody. <laughs> Bob Mays coming here. Welcome to today's show. In the back of the boat with me, Charles Fitzgerald. He's the national sales manager for Pose, the lure manufacturer that makes us the giant jackpot, now the Havana Jack, the Mod, Mad Mike, and a whole bunch of other lures out there for you to catch giant muskies on. We're here today on the Winnipeg River system out of Birch Island Resort. That was a point, that was a muskie, and that's what we're looking for. Don't go anywhere. Simply Fish will be right back with more giant muskies. If that's any sign, we got big ones, girls. Big ones coming. Yes. She ate that thing, and I thought, yes! But I watched her nip it. All she had was the she bat. Did, yeah, I, she didn't look like it either, yeah. Yeah, she just uh, nipped it. Kind of sitting there. That was a nice fish. 25, 28 pounds. Yeah, that was a nice fish. <laughs> but again, that's, that's I'm a, getting more fun watching that. That's the same fish that dropped off on me. Now, why she came out of there and dropped that first time, I don't know. She came out, I could see her, and all of a sudden she sunk. I thought, what'd you do that for? And I pulled in there, and I put two more casts on top of her, and boom, there she was. There she was again. Yes! Oh, look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish! This side over here? Oh. That is a 50 fish. That's Folks, close. you're seeing it right now. My 100th just came in the net at Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. He ate that thing. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Bring her back. Oh, hold tight, hold tight. 
Hi everyone, Bob Mason over here. You know, I've got a place, a very, very special place in my heart. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Introducing the 18 line of blade baits, nothing performs like the 18. No other bucktail in the market today can match the action or vortex created by 18's unique blades. Check out the entire 18 family of baits at www.18tackle.com. Truly a revolutionary new design in what has been an old standby. For your next monster, choose the one that'll get it done, the Avenger X from 18 Tackle. Well, one thing I found typically when you're bass fishing, if you're in the back, if you're in the back of the boat, you're you're certainly hardly ever going to see position. position oh, you'll a. see it all the time, muskie. With muskie, it seems like you're always, no matter, you're yeah. you're going to you're going to get your t your time in the slot. Yeah. yeah, you will. Not only that, when the fish are off, when the fish are being reluctant, right? Guy in the back of the boat will catch 90% of them. Really. Yeah, because I might get their attention and they fall off. I never see them, and then you intersect with them when they crawl back in, and boom, they come up and eat you. Oh, that, that makes sense when you talked about the the one fish. You did a figure eight, and the other guy did a figure eight. And, yeah. You know. Now, if they're on, you don't want to be behind a guy that knows what he's doing. That's greedy. <laughs> because you're not going to have a lot of time except on the net. <laughs> But I haven't seen that all year. I haven't seen the on day yet. They just haven't been on. Well, being this is my first time doing it, I'll take the net. I'm almost thinking that, that catching one may be, may be a little bit scarier. I nah, bet. you'll have a riot if you hook one. <laughs> Even a little one, you'll have fun with it. Now you said this will be rock and and, and some and some some yeah. cabbage. Yeah, there'll be cabbage in there. I'm just seeing a little bit of cabbage on the graph right now. It's deeper, and there'll be some tobacco up top. And it, would that be a perfect? Would that be the the ideal area? This, this is classic. Okay. Yeah. This is as this is really as good as it gets right here. This is a very very nice place. It's even better if the current's pulling. There's no current, but here's one. We're going to go to the net, Charlie. Got it. I'm going this side, this side, this side, this side. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring her back to you. Okay. Come on, lady, come on. She hadn't done much yet. Hang on. I'm going to bring her to you. Okay. If you would, yeah, get the net down in the water. We got the wind going, so. Okay. Oh, not yet. Hang on. Come on, baby. Come up. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Leave her in the water. We got her. Leave her in the water. Beautiful. Okay, let's just set for a second. I got to figure out where we are here, relationship to that other reef that's there. Well, that's exciting stuff. Yeah. Now, do you see how she did that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching that. Oh, that just is amazing. That's that was a classic figure eight. And, and I've caught some big fish in my life, and I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that made me shake there. I'm going, geez, oh, Pete. Yeah, they're really averse fish by nature. Keep the rim up. Keep the keep the rim up. They will jump right out of the net. Okay. Okay. Now I got to get a hook cutters here. There we go. That's a nasty looking fish. Oh yeah, it's gnarly. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna cut hooks. Okay, what we're gonna do first is hold the rim. Okay. There you go. Oh, there you go. Don't let her sit there. I'm gonna get rid of these hooks first. Okay. What's she doing for? Ah, wait a minute, slow down. Okay. I wanna get rid of these hooks first, okay? Okay. And I'm cutting these because it's a safety issue. Yeah. 
that when I go down to get a hold of her, I'm not going to run a hook through me. A hook is cheap compared to everything else in this boat. Now, now she's now she's down in the Beckman. See that? Yep. Look she's at that. In, she's in the water. She's good. She's about 43, 44. But she's a perfect classic figure eight fish for you. Off that classic spot. Yep. Thanks, Bob. Has, has all the elements. Yep. Okay, kind of hold the rim up. Okay. There you go. You got it. See what we're dealing with in here. Come on, baby. Yeah, it should be okay. That really does have, looking at, looking at the back of this fish, that's uh, a little gray on there. It's barracuda. certainly a barracuda body, man. Yep, I agree with you. There we go. I'm gonna set that in the boat. I'm gonna lift her up for you real quick so you can see her. Then we'll sit her back down in the water. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for, big guy. Wow. <laughs> And we're looking for much, much bigger, but this is a classic fish under a relatively classic sky on a very classic location. And what we do with them, we lay down with them and we get control of the fish. You never drop one back in the water. You always set her down, let her get her bearings. See, they have what's called ear stones. In their ears, there's three stones. You want those ear stones to be balanced once they're balanced, she's got her equilibrium, she'll be gone. And she'll tell you, she'll tell you when, when she's got yep. it. Yep, when she's got it. Nice 44 incher. Wow. Good deal. Wow. Let's see if we can get some more, eh? <laughs> Man, she hammered that thing. Good Lord. On that figure eight, just around and around and around. And she kept, she kept speeding up every time it came around. Speeding up, which meant I had her attention. She wasn't falling off. I got to start the big boat and move us forward. Yeah, I'm going to get my heart to calm down a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not done. Hi, I'm Bill Foner. And we're Mike and Evan Macecomber. And I'm Bob Macecomber with Landon. We're Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. We will do more than simply keep you afloat. We are performance fishermen selling and servicing. The fishermen who demand performance. Where are we? Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Hey fishermen, come see us at Simply Fishing Extreme Marine. Perfect. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Yeah! Whoa! I can't swim! Be careful what you ask for. Pose the original giant jackpot.
Jake Satanica, owner and founder of Grandma Allure's, prides himself in the fact that Grandma's offers one of the most comprehensive color and pattern selections found in the industry today. Be it one of my favorites, the baby muskie or the perch pattern we're using here today, when it comes to needing specific color patterns, Grandma Allure's will deliver. Check out Thorn Brothers or Raleigh and Helen's Muskie Shop if you can't find what you need at your local retailer. I'll run us right on out, and when I find the end, what I'd like to do, when I find the end, is like to turn the boat, come back around this. If we haven't got anything on these bucktails, because we're running kind of high in the column, mm -hmm. I'd like to go to a crankbait, maybe. Kinda yeah, that's, that's a good plan. Maybe an Ernie. Yeah, I'll, or a I'll grandma. throw a grandma. Yeah, throw a grandma yeah. for sure. You told me at the dock to put on that perch one. Yeah, it's been a good pattern this year. Those are idiosyncrasies that lakes, you know, they display that people really don't adhere to. There are times that they're on certain bite forages, and sometimes you can catch them on anything, but when it gets tough, like you said this morning, perch has been what's working. Yeah. That's what I put on. So we're definitely right now, I'm just right on your 10, 11 foot mark, and I'm getting shallower, so this cranks out a little bit here, huh? Yes, it does. Yep, just come up. Just come up to nine. I think I tapped weed right there. Yeah, here, let me show you folks what we're, what we're dealing with out here. He has got an absolute perfect little spot here. He's got cabbage and coontail. This is coontail that's living right now in the system. It's green, it's not dying. This is the kind of stuff that the fish will, the fish will come in and find edges of this. This stuff grows in towers and columns. And the fish will come in and use that edge, and when they're not on that edge, they'll break off the deep water, they'll come back in. So it's a great transition area, like we talked about. You got the weed, a little saddle, and then a hump. Great spot. Like he said, classic. Classic spot. Oh, there was cabbage too. I just knocked the cabbage off, see? Cabbage and coontail in there. Both are in there. Perfect combination. This is a pretty good size area. It is. It's a huge spot. Yeah, it is. It could hold a lot of fish. Do you see multiple fish on it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think we're off it, Chris. I'm gonna run. What do you say we go back across it? Sure. I'm gonna go to my crankbait. It's a good plan. Pure perch pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're sliding off the edge right now. I'm not used to it. I'm gonna turn the boat back in the wind. Sure. I'm not used to having my rods handy now. So yeah, sometimes you can come out here on a spot like this and bump rock and mm -hmm. there we go. You got one? Yep. Any size to them? Yeah, I can't tell you. I can just tell you it's a pretty good fish. And I don't have a lot of hook in them. Yep. I see them. You want to bring them back to me, Bob? Yep, I'll bring them back to you. High 40s. Oh, you ready? Yeah, I'm coming. You get to net in the water. I'll bring her back to you. Good deal. Scoop. There you go. Nice fish. On the grandma. Nice. We came around this thing, folks. We're fishing one of Chris's spots right now. Pretty good little cabbage bed in there. We got on the back side of the cabbage and we we're both throwing bucktails and we hit that rock edge. I just asked Chris, I says, is this rock in here? And he said, yeah, it probably is. Put on a crankbait so I could bang those rocks a little bit. That was on the very first cast. On that grandma. Good deal. Good job. You want me to uh here? Got let's some see. Pliers somewhere? Yeah, I got an extractors and stuff up here if you I'm gonna send them on up to you. Hang tight, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we came outside the edge of that cabbage. As soon as we broke, I could see the cabbage tops. Mm -hmm. And you said you had one follow right there. I did, yeah. And she boiled behind you. I don't think this is the same fish. There could be more on there. But as soon as we hit that clear rock, what you've got is a, a cabbage edge that comes down. Then you've got that void area before it breaks into 35, 40 foot. And they'll suck right up there and yep. stay there. This is the first day, folks, in three days that the wind hasn't been blowing 40 miles an hour. So we got Chris in the boat with us today, and we're going to have some fun on some big fish. I hope. <laughs> okay. It's a good start. Yeah, it's a good start. And about 47, maybe. Yeah. What I'm going to do is hold the net here, Chris, and yep. maybe come right down in the seat. Sure. 
because we're working on the top of the Lowrance here. You got the, yeah. got the net? Got it. And if you just want to hold, yep, stay here, just get right down in the seat. Right there down you, in the seat? Yeah, that'd be fine. Here you go. Just there you go. Now you got control of it. I'll cut some hooks. Oh boy, did she eat it. What do we got here? Girls, girls, girls. She didn't do much fighting. There you go. No, she came in pretty. Yeah. But they're kind of lackadaisical, I think, because of the because of the yeah, cold water, cold air. I'm gonna come in from the side. I gotta get around. There we go. There you go. Had to get around the webbing on the net. The net is what had her. Okay. Hold that up for you. Stay there, girl. Get out of there. Get out of there. You want to see her quick? Come here, baby. Got her? Yep. Show her to you. Nice fish, Bob. Yeah, I'd say what, 45, 46? Yep. She's not 47, but she's a nice 45, she's a nice 46. Fish. Good job, big girl. Let's get her back on one of your first spots. Yeah. <laughs> she ate that grandma, and you recommended perch. I did. It's been a good color. Yeah, she's good fish. Thank you, baby doll. When they go to the 5-0 mark, they get different, don't they? Big heads. Oh, and... yeah. There you go, baby. She'll sit out there for just a second and say goodbye. Good job. Chris, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Not a like problem. Like I said, folks, we got Chris in the boat with us right now. We've, we've had Charlie in the boat with us from Pose, and we've had just brutal weather. We finally got a shot. We got a little bit of sun today, but we got calm weather. We're going to be able to fish some fish. Don't go anywhere. Be right back with more Simply Fishing. Chris has got a couple more secrets to show me. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet, Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy, has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world-class Northern Pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge, where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll-free at 1-877-922-0957. There's one. Yeah. Yes. Stay with her. Get down. It's a good one. 
Yeah, stay with her. Say when. I'm gonna try and turn her and then bring him over to Good you. Good enough. Good enough. Whoa. Good fish. Whoa. Yes. Good. Ready? Yep. She's oh, too low. She's not ready. That's okay. That's okay. She's gonna come this way now. Would I tell you about coming up on top of it? She's going down every time. Ready? Five oh, big guy. Woo! Fifty one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What did I tell you about coming up on top of it? They crawl up on top yep. of these shelves and they take Should advantage of this right here, here, the high sky. Good job, Chris. I got to tell you, though, it was my spot. <laughs> 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 oh, good job. Yeah. Hang on a minute now. We're in good shape. She's okay. She's fine. I need to move my rods here real quick. I'm just going to grab two. And I'll bring her back so you can work her. That's a 5 old fish, Chris. Yep. Careful. Yeah, she's out. She's out. Yeah, she's out. You gonna lift her up? Yeah. When you lift her up, just kind of hold her so the audience can see her. That's a beautiful, beautiful Winnipeg fish. She's got her mouth in the net there. Yeah. You're okay. You're good. <laughs> Chase her around on that Beckman, huh? You ready? Yeah, I'll hold her up for probably a good solid five, six, seven seconds. Oh, nice is that fish. pretty? It's 50. Yeah. There's no question of that. It's 50. So, what do you think, big guy? Pretty cool? <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> How do you like breaking into TV world with a 50 plus, huh? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's pretty, all about. I think it's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Pretty cool. Look how chunky. Nice solid nice girth fish. on her. Nice solid fish. Yep. Yeah. If you're at all interested. Put her back in the water. Go ahead, yeah, set her back. Here's the one inch mark. You take it to the tail and go ahead, just take the whole thing right to the tail. He's right. He's longer than that. Go ahead. Yeah. She's right about 50, I think. I'd say a 5-0. Yeah. We're gonna lay there for you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Oh yeah. Isn't she pretty? She's up there taking advantage of that sun, radiating yep. up in that shallow. She's in good shape. Oh, Pecs she is. Set. Your stones are quite. Look at that lower jaw. How gnarly that lower jaw gets. No scars on her. No, she's clean. Good job. See, you're rolling her now. Her ear stones are rolling. Yeah. That's why she's trying to fight you. She's good. Yeah. That's how they stay. That's part of their equilib equilibrium process is the ear stones inside their ears. There she goes. Let her go. Good job. <laughs> Holy smokes, Rocky. Hey, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We showed you Charlie Fitzgerald, the folks from Pose, the national sales manager. We brought him out here. We tried to get him on some of these big fish. The reality is, is we got beat up with some severe, severe weather, 40 mile an hour winds for three days. Got the opportunity to take Chris and put him in the boat and see what we can do out here, and you've seen some of that. The man knows the system. Come to Birch Island Resort. Get a hold